Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I have an amazing tour planned out. We're taking a look at the Jade Signature penthouse here in Sunny Isles Beach. It's got seven bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, 19,232 total square feet. This building was built in 2018, so it's super modern. and It's got tons of amenities, and I'll list that below in the description. And the asking price, a cool $29,500,000. And if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jason Matuk. I'm a realtor in South Florida, and this is what I do. I take you around, I show you the best of the best. This is definitely one of the best units there is on the market right now. So on that note, let's go ahead, get inside, and uh, get started. Follow me. So just off the elevator, we're gonna Head right in. This is like the elevator hallway where you can get to the living room or the kitchen. So the architecture of this whole building was made by Herzog and Demuron. The interior was designed by PYR and the whole building was developed by Fortune International Group. Wow, before I get started, look at this light fixture on the wall. I mean, do you see the design that goes into this place? This was actually done in-house, the design. It's beautiful. And this living room is really the perfect location for that main walk-in. You don't know much about the property, but like the owners invite you in, you walk in, and this is your first reaction to everything. 360 degree views as I look around. They've even got mirrors on the walls, so it reflects all the beach views. It's just really, really well thought out. Take a look at this light fixture above us. It looks like Fish Row. You know, just like a light fixture made out of that. It's weird, but it's true. And then even the little table designed. And the reason I'm bringing up all the furniture in here is because all of this is included in the asking price. So you get this amazing suite included. Two long couches all the tables and everything right here. And then when you turn around, literally you can do it three or four times behind me. It's incredible. From one side all the way down to the other, you're seeing all of the city of Sunny Isles and further down into the mainland. Touch of water of the bay in here as well. But look, I mean, look at all this space. I just wanna, you know what I mean? Just get a little jog in. And then when I just lean this way, I see the whole balcony and the skyline of downtown Miami. Beautiful. Let's jog back over. We have to start jogging, otherwise this tour will be three hours long. But we'll come back over and we'll continue on inside. I also forgot to mention, you have that half bathroom, perfect for the guests, so it's not like they have to go searching for it. It's right there on their way out, on their way in. So here, just off the living room, you have your bar perfectly laid out. Behind me, you got that typical bar wall. You got the LED strips as accents. Take a look at this wine cooler really quick. It's like a display case for the best of the best wine that you'll have. And then on the other side, another wine cooler. And if this wasn't enough wine storage for you, if you just come around this corner right here, you get one, two, three, four more. Is that enough? You can even have access straight back out into this balcony. And once you've got your drink, you know, you, maybe you wanna watch some TV since that room, the living room didn't have a TV. In here, you got it on the wall. Four chairs, very comfy. See this? Wow, yeah, see, really efficient, really ergonomic. And you have the TV on the wall. This is great for fight night. This is great for the finale of your favorite TV show. And you're just watching it on this elegantly placed TV. Look at the backsplash of the TV. These are raised. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. And it's metal on wood with the accent lighting on each side this table, like a pie chart of how much I love my viewers. This is like my love spread out. This is how much I love the viewers. This is like my friends and family. That's true, that's true. But yeah, and then this room, of course, every room, every like area in the house has access to a balcony. I'm gonna save that balcony for a little bit later. because It's very impressive, but we'll head right over to this point. Stop right here real quick. Right off of this room, behind these double doors, this is gonna be the main suite of the property. This whole wing is dedicated to the master suite. So when you come in, you first have, I would say like a common area, sit down, hang out, talk about your day, get a couple drinks, and this is like, these doors are closed and this is an entire unit by itself at this point. Access to the same balcony, 
when you come in to here, it takes you into the main suite. Here we have your bed overlooking the views, a vanity place right here. It's really nice. It's like a good like last minute thought thing. You're like about to leave. Just want to double check before you walk out. Again, access to the balcony, but when you come into here, here's your main bed. This is where the king and queen, just the king or just the queen sit to enjoy what they've earned. Honestly, the headboard, let's talk about the little details here. The design above the headboard is immaculate. The bed has got a great finish. The fabric, everything down to the threading of this is just beautiful and elegant. You even have a nice living TV kind of area off the bed. Usually they put like a little couch and they have a TV on the wall. This one is a separate occasion. You have the long couch, you can hang out, chill, relax, and then you have a proper TV entertainment place. Look what's behind these curtains. This is everything that people, when they think about moving to Miami and South Florida, they're imagining that their views are gonna look like this. However, views like this are reserved for homes like this. And the final thing I wanna mention about this part of the suite is that the terrace actually goes all the way around and that terrace is a total 360 of the entire first floor. So when you walk out of here and you make a right, you got the open ocean, it takes you down so you can see the shore, super impressive. So now we're, I'm gonna show you the bathrooms and closets. We're gonna start first with his closet. Look at this, come in here. He wears fedoras. I'm sure you can see the kind of person we're talking about. You got the shoe wall on one side with the little lights to light up the shoe. And then you got your clothes behind this polished glass case, light fixture just above the floating vanity dresser where you can store your watches, your belts, all your accessories right here. And then you just look out onto a screen of South Florida. It's beautiful. It's the kind of thing that makes me thankful that we have cameras because how would we translate this in the 1950s? It'd be very hard. So we're gonna walk down into his part of the bathroom. The space is impressive. You have your sink and mirror on one side, a corner view on this side, toilet and walk-in shower. Look at the size of this walk-in shower. It's definitely not meant for one person, but you can definitely do that if you don't feel like inviting anyone in. You got the jets, the rain head shower, and then you get your own balcony entrance on this side if you'd like to go out and make the walk freshen up a little bit. And we're gonna cross back over down this way, take a look at her side of the closet and bathroom. We're passing this suite and we're gonna walk down. This is the elevator that can take you to the second floor as well if you don't feel like walking. Come over here. And welcome to her side of the closet walking right in. She gets a different kind of view. She gets more of the city bay side view, just as nice. However, on this side, two dresser closets. So she can put clothes and dresses on this side, shirts and pants and whatnot on this side, and you get shoes, shoes, shoes above, handbags, and the vanity down below, and she gets her own light fixture. This whole closet, both closets, honestly, it's like taking my breath away. I'm trying my best to describe it, but it's just, it's so impressive. And the access to her bathroom is just right over here. So coming in, you got the bathroom for the missus. She got the walk-in shower and the toilet hidden on one side. Got the sink and again, a balcony kind of angled to make it just private for this bathroom. So you're taking a shower, you want to look out, you got your privacy and you can enjoy it. Follow me this way. So maybe you noticed it on the camera when we were passing over, but right here is where the master suite, the master wing goes to a second level. If you don't feel like taking the stairs, like I said, elevator right here, but follow me up and take a look at the well-lit handrail. It just makes me wanna do this. I'm not the type to use the handrail, but it just makes me wanna just follow the handrail. This is the upstairs loft entertaining space. It could be a gym, it could be anything you want. The, the, the main office, let your mind run wild here. This is where the elevator takes you up, but right away, got a nice little bar set up, wine cooler down below, sink, formal sit down place to watch TV. But the view that you have here is just elegant and mind blowing. It looks over all the important parts that you wanna see, and you got the space to put whatever you want. They even have down here, office, but look how elegant this is. Put your face over my face for a second. You're sitting here 
getting ready to do work. It's, it would be very hard to do work. I would be very easily distracted just sitting here looking out onto everything. It's, it's a good place to do affirmations just to, yeah. I should have brought my affirmation notebook, but just off of the office space, you have access into the terrace, just like the master suite on the first floor. It wraps around down to the other side where you got those crazy views of Sunny Isles, tons of places to put couches, chairs, and an elongated balcony just to walk, jog. If you wanna get some workouts in, you can do kind of like a morning sprint or jog, it's possible. And just off of this whole suite, you have the full bathroom in here with a steam room and a sauna. So just from seeing this, now I'm thinking that's the gym. The whole thing, to make, make that entire part of the gym, the access is straight in the master suite. And once you're done in the steam room and sauna, soaking tub, and this soaking tub is elegantly facing just a magical view of the coastline again and the city on this side. You still got the exact same walk-in shower on this side, the same views, and access to the balcony. It doesn't get much better than this. Let's cut back to downstairs, just outside the master suite, and continue on with the tour. Now that we are leaving this, that whole space, that all that time we were just together, that was all for the master's wing. Let's take a look over here. I passed it on the way in. I know it caught your eye. The rooftop pool on the terrace, just off the balcony. And when you come out onto here, this is where it starts to feel very surreal. It felt surreal the whole time. We got lounging space all down here. And when you come to this end of the balcony and you look down, it goes infinitely long on both sides. Look at the size of this pool. I want to say it's one of the biggest rooftop pools I've ever seen. And it's got that crazy circle shape. So you can fit like 15 people in here facing each other, having a great drink and laugh. This is definitely where some celebrities are going to be sitting in the future or whoever buys this house, just overlooking the endless ocean on both sides. And we'll take a look a little bit further down on this. A couple places to lounge, it's like an outdoor living room, <laughs> just off the outdoor pool. And then even further down this way, what do you think? Outdoor dining, cooking. Look at this table, how elegant, how cozy, comfy. Just the best views in the world, cooking some great food. You got your personal chef here, I'm making an amazing meal. And then we'll come down on this side. And the terrace extends all the way down, like I said, a 360 degree view onto over here the minimal of what you can do. You can put so much furniture out here. It really goes on forever. Corner view, looking at everything, absolutely incredible. Follow me back inside. I'm gonna do a quick jog to get back in and we'll continue on with the interior part of this property. Let's go, YouTube. Let's go, YouTube. Follow me down this way. We're gonna pass the beautiful bar. I wanna sit down here, have a drink, but I got work to do. Pass the pool. Again, over this gorgeous living room with the 360 degree view that we've already seen. Those two mirrors, when I first walked into here, I actually thought those were two different like rooms that you can walk into. Those are just really reflecting the view that you have. So it expands the room. Even that dining room mirror makes it look like there's two dining rooms. You even have the same wall that you had by the bar with the wood and the metal right over here so it's just gorgeous take a look at this dining room this table can i just talk about this table for a second incredible i don't want to know what the table costs it just looks priceless the chairs nice leather with the metal finish on the bottom and the light fixture above is one of the most opulent looking things i've ever seen the view that you have sitting here enjoying a meal people can be talking about this dinner that you throw for years the lighting in the room itself is very impressive. It's got that hidden high hat and the accent lighting around. As we come into the next room, whew, wow. This is the whole kitchen wing of the property. You have a nice breakfast table sitting right here. This light above the breakfast table, it's magic. 
six people sitting here having the best breakfast of their life, access to the balcony, the view, immaculate. But take a look at this kitchen for those people out there watching, those professional chefs, you know, everyone loves you for a certain thing, you're the best home cook. I got the kitchen for you. We'll start with the refrigerator. You got a massive Sub-Zero fridge. Boom. Look at the size of this thing. You got all the space you're gonna want over here. Your appliances, the best of the best. You have Gaganau appliances, dual ovens, microwave. Instead of having the traditional bar stool that you'll probably always see, it connects to a floating rounded mid-century modern table with a few seats over here. Just the way they design that is impeccable. On the opposing side, you have a coffee machine and a Sub-Zero wine cooler. Besides all the ones you had by the bar, you have another one in here. Sink, sink in the back, storage down below, and take a look at this cook stove top. So this is also Gaganau. And when you click this button here, the vent comes up from there. So there's no over the head hood vent. It sits right there. And then when you cook, boom. So you got your beautiful oven set up and that thing alone right here is a work of art. Coming a little bit further down, this is pretty much the main part of the kitchen. You actually have access to get back into the main part of the living room. So if you want to just cut in, this is the elevator hallway, but for now we don't want to go into there. This is part of the kitchen. This isn't considered the service yet. This is just part of the kitchen. So you can make this technically a walk-in pantry of your dreams. This is where you put all the snacks, the storage, everything. You stock up in here, you never have to go to the grocery ever again. And this room also has its own balcony. It continues a further down as well. So maybe snacks, pots, and pans. Imagine you're going to get a pot or some snacks and you have a view while you're doing it. It's incredible. And besides these two rooms that you have over here, you still have a service room. You still have a service room in here. So you come down to this side, this is the kitchen cut off, and then here is the whole service wing. So you got the laundry, full bedroom and bathroom in here. Let's come back into the kitchen. As if it couldn't get any better, there's a whole other wing of the property that we still haven't seen. I think, I think I have to put an ad right here. I've given so much love. Let's put an ad right here. I'll see you in five seconds, unless you have YouTube Red. Welcome back. People who had YouTube Red, I'm sorry, that was a weird transition, but it takes us right into the hallway congregation area just before the two separating rooms. It's like the room divide. It's got a really elegant ergonomic place to sit. Like, look at this, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then access to the balcony just off. So if you're trying to go outside and have an outdoor meal, this is kind of the space they walk to get there. Coming a bit further down, now we're gonna start seeing a lot of the guest bedrooms. All we saw was the master suite and the living spaces. So in here, on my left, you're gonna have the first guest bedroom. On my right, you have the closet, and all the closets in here are huge. There's a big space in there. On the left, you have the ensuite, and then in this room, you got nothing but pure bliss. Whoever has this room, whoever has any room in this entire unit, they're gonna be feeling very blessed. So follow me back in. Here we're passing service again. And here, this whole wing is now the kids' entertainment, or just the entertainment in general, guest side of the property. Look at the setup of the furniture, two chairs, the long couch, Hermes blanket, placed ever so elegantly, and then this wall for the entertainment. I've never seen anything like it. The detail, the light, and then the reflection above with the TV mounted, this, this little part of this 19,000 square foot property took so much thought, and I really respect it. Even just off for your guest, you have a full bathroom with a walk-in shower and a view. Keep that in mind. On this side, a pool table with that same accent lighting furniture to match the entertainment side. And you know, I can just see it. You're, you're playing pool, a couple drinks laid out. It's a really good, really fun area to have in any property. And here it just takes you to another guest suite. So if you have some guests spending the night and they're living here, I mean, they're enjoying their stay. And this is probably one of the best bedrooms in terms of view and elegance in the unit, in my opinion. You got the corner view of the, the water. So on this side, open ocean. On this side, the architecture and structures. Looking out onto everything, access to the balconies on both sides. Look at this closet for a second. Look at the size of this closet. This is just for the guest. Guest closet, massive, bigger than my room. 
that's not true. My room's not small, this small, but like a crazy size closet. And then over here, of course, you're gonna have your bathroom. Notice the finish on the counter, it matches the floor, walk-in shower wall, and the view. Showering here with nobody to bother you except the occasional pelican that flies by. I mean, how do you put a price on that? Well, we did, we did put a price on it. And that's what it's gonna to take to get a place like this. So now that we've finished with the first floor entertaining space, let's head to the second floor of this guest wing side. Here you have your open loft. I see this personally as being like a computer room, a couple desks, computers, couch right here just to hang out and chill. And the cool thing is you actually have like a wet bar situation on this side with a wine cooler and sink. If you wanna put some snacks, just lay it out perfectly for the kids or any of the guests who are spending the night here. Another spacious bedroom with its own ensuite and a corner view, but this time facing the city. And the final guest suite that I will be showing you in this impressive, insane property, this side, which is a complete replica of the one that we saw down right under this. So if you really like that room, you know, the kids were fighting or the, the guests, you just wanna make sure your guests are really comfortable, you can replicate that same room up onto here with the same views, but on the second floor. Let's end it out onto this balcony. Standing here, Looking down on one side, I see the length of the balcony curving across, taking a look at the city, seeing the ocean on that side, seeing the ocean on this side, a space out here just to put all the furniture you want. This is the most impressive, write it down, unit that I have ever had the pleasure of walking through. Alex, agreed? Yeah. It's just immaculate at the Jade Signature. And I just wanna say thank you for coming on this tour with me. If this was your first time on my channel, don't forget, I mean, look what I'm showing you. Don't forget, just smash that subscribe button. Just kick that like button, kick it. Whatever makes it turn blue, just do it to that button and follow us for more. If you have any questions about the music, if you have any questions about the property, the amenities, anything like that, it will all be down below and I'm gonna keep working hard. We're gonna keep doing this to show you the best of the best. So thank you. Have a great day, love you, respect you, care about you, would do anything for you. I love my YouTube family, you guys are the best. Thank you, all right. Enough, Jason, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.